Hello guys, welcome to your seventh lesson in this Vue.js 3 course. And in this lesson, we are going to be looking at the Vue Dev tool, a tool which is going to make your Vue.js development way much easier. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so I have my um, app right here, my template here. And then inside of that, we have a parent component, which takes in two different child components. Um, component one and component two. So looking at this uh, parent component right here, okay, we can see, remember um, slots, takes in a slot and then right here it renders, this is then the title here. And then we have the uh, component one, which just returns a title and then it renders it here and also um, component to the same and then we have our app the view we still have the property from the previous lessons here okay so here's the thing i want to quickly show you how the dev tool actually work and how you can make use of it how it can be really helpful so i'm going to come right here and selecting open up the console you can come here to um, the view dev tool right here and then you have different tabs um but the two major ones i want to show you is basically the inspector and the timeline okay so under the inspector you're going to see the list of your apps right right here your apps layout okay right here we can see okay we have our main app here and then inside of that we have our parent component view and then component one and component two okay and one thing you should know the name that it's been displayed here you can actually adjust it if i should come here and i should change this to view component to view new and i should come here and let's refresh that that automatically got updated we can see the name right here okay and when you click on any one of them you are going to see the data the states that we have we can come here and Another thing is you can manually adjust the, um, the state, the data to test something. Okay, let's say I'm just going to type this in. Okay, we see it gets manually updated here. So that's um, some of the amazing things you can actually do with the tool. And then you can come right here. Um, this scroll to component. It's going to scroll to that particular component on the screen on the page and then you can also look at the code the render code this is the code that um, view actually used to render this particular component right here that's one of the things you can check another thing is you can inspect the dome and this is going to actually um, opening it up in the inspector here so you can see the exact html component so let's say for this particular one i can click on this and say okay i want to inspect um in the dom and then you see it actually goes and alight this particular div and then another thing is you can open it up in code editor and i'm not going to do that right now but it's a nice option to have and you right here whenever you open up your or your app reloads you can see the amount of time it takes for this to get rendered okay moving on to the timeline now the timeline you can see different um aspects such as the performance the events the keyboard so when you have any events such as click it to see be able to see the details right here and the performance also um uh, if i should come here you're going to should be able to see um okay click on the performance you should be able to see some details about the app okay let's do let me refresh this and right here we're able to see things such as app mount app init app render basically you can also see the performance and the components um a bit of the life cycle right here which we are also going to discuss um later on so we can see when the app got mounted it got initialized here okay we can see when it got rendered you can see a whole lot of things and duration so these are things that you can actually use to measure how well your app um is rendering um different components and if you need to improve them so that's um that about the dev tool and in the next lesson we're going to be looking at a very interesting aspect which is styling our view apps and i'm going to see you there